but with an abundance of caution, of course, I'm taking these NAD, this NAD booster um, in the hopes that it's going to pan out the same for humans. Um, I take vitamin D, which I've learned goes down, way down during winter. I'm testing my levels, as I said. Uh, what else do I do? I, I take um, a drug called metformin, which is typically given to type 2 diabetics. Now, why would I do such a thing? Because I don't have diabetes yet. Well, one is that it's in my family. Um, and I would get diabetes if I didn't watch out. But also because metformin in some large studies, uh, retrospective studies of populations have found that people uh, who take metformin are relatively protected against not just diabetes, but also heart disease and cancer and frailty and even Alzheimer's disease. So I'm taking that one uh, for those reasons. Um, that there's one called berberine, which is, quote unquote, people call it poor man's metformin. And berberine you can buy off the internet, but um, for metformin, I have to warn people, you do need a doctor's prescri prescription to get that drug here in the US. Well, I was actually um, thinking that it would only be a good thing, but I had my last uh, test come back from Inside Tracker, and it was through the roof. It was exceedingly high above safe levels, according to them. And so I've cut way back on my vitamin D in, uh, B intake. So yeah, I, I think what's important about this, what we call bio-tracking or at least self-monitoring, is that if you take something, unless you have a test, you don't know if it's working or, you know, God forbid, doing you harm. And that's another reason for this personalized medicine trend. I think it's, it's really important to be able to see what's going on, not just on the outside, but on the inside.